And now to the uproar over a former fraternity president at Baylor University accused of sexually assaulting a woman getting no jail time. ABC's Janae Norman is here with the story. Good morning, Janae. Michael, good morning. The judge in this case has been criticized before for handing down what some consider light sentences in sexual assault cases. The controversial ruling has left the victim and her family outraged. Overnight outrage after former fraternity president Jacob Anderson, who's accused of violently assaulting and choking a woman, walks free. Inside the Texas courthouse, tensions boiled over. Everybody just needs to chill out. Anderson was accused of raping a woman at a fraternity party in 2016, allegedly gagging her until she passed out and then leaving her unconscious body outside. Prosecutors never charged Anderson with assault. Instead, he pled no contest to the lesser crime of unlawful restraint. The judge accepted the deal, which includes a fine and mandatory counseling, but allows the 23-year-old to avoid registering as a sex offender. The crime he pled to is a felony and typically carries a sentence of two to ten years in prison. But the judge sentencing Anderson to just three years probation. Anderson's accuser is condemning the judge's ruling, writing, I am devastated by your decision. I have to live with the fact that after all these years and everything I have suffered, no justice was achieved. And earlier this year, the same judge allowed another convicted assailant to serve their 30 day jail sentence on weekends only so they could continue their college courses. So uh, as you can imagine, raising lots of eyebrows, that judge. I believe so. Yeah. Janae, thanks so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.